Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> so, so, what are you here today for? Well, I heard there is a number of task forces, task forces, I really like that word, in uh, um, Fabricator, right, uh, regarding the yes, two regarding of these. Copyright in particular, there's uh, the most recent one, but also have the multi-object support in Blender. And we keep track of them every day. You can see in the graph here how it's been going well. So the goal is for this to go all the way down to, to zero. So at some point it's going to be all the way to zero. Multi-object. So uh, from what I understand, <coughs> if for multi-object to work, that you can select multiple objects and apply a operation on them, every operator has to be rewritten or it has to be tweaked, at least in some way, right? That's correct. Um, I can actually show... So, this is, this is in this case here, we have two different objects, okay? Two cubes, sorry, a bit boring. But yes, you can go to edit mesh mode. You can do a few things, you see, we can move and transform then at the same time. But some of the tools are still not supported. So, for instance, we're going to try to edge collapse yeah. and only okay. affect the active one, right? Okay, yes. Big bummer. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, it's so accessible to do this that so many people that in the, pre in the past has, uh, have contributed patches to Blender or someone that wants to get started can really, really help make this uh, a reality as, as fast as possible. Just uh, as a quick reference, this is the test force, right? So if you go, if you actually keep note of the, uh, this task and go to Fabricator, yeah. or Blender Developers, we have a really nice explanation what to do. We have a few example commits. So in this case, I'm uh, gonna go, gonna follow the face poke, which is so simple, as you can see here. It's it's really, 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 really uh, a few lines of code that have to be changed. And so in this case, you go to Edit Mesh Tools. It's already open here. So yeah. So for now, now you're gonna do a. Yeah. This is the all the Edit Mesh Tools. Those are all the ones that are, have already been converted. And we still have a few of them that needs to be converted. <laughs> and in this case, is the edge and collapse. Collapse. Yep. There. Okay, edge collapse. Okay. So you select the name of so the operator. I'm copying it. I go to Qt Creator. If you, you need to build your Blender in order to do that, to yeah. be able to build Blender. But so, and then I go here, looking for the the text. Like a global search. Yes. Yeah. It's gonna find where it is. It mentions a few places. One of them is for the menu. Yeah, for the menu, the other and, and shortcuts. But this is the operator itself, and this is the function, the exact function. It's really that small. Not all of them are small, but a lot of them are very, very small. Then the change is so, so simple. Let's uh, put this here. Let's copy a reference code. So take like this one you should take any operator that was already done and you copy yes. it over. That simple. So took this block of code. This is one of the example ones, so I know it's gonna be it's one of the good ones. Okay. <laughs> so we just dump it here. Let's make it clean. Yes, fix your tabs and spaces, people. <laughs> and it's really and of course, just copy paste and then um, and I'm removing a few lines. I go here. There's something interesting. So you see here, the original patch was for faces. Was for faces, and what happens is sometimes we want to skip a few objects if there's no selected edge in this object. Ah. So this is something new. But again, it, you can see this in the original patch. Otherwise, it will crash, or otherwise it will fail when it shouldn't. Or yeah. The other thing is that when the when the sometimes the operation fails for this mesh in particular, before you just Quit the exit the operator. Now we just continue in the for loop. Ah. So now yeah. before we have this, now have this. Just continue. This is the thing itself that's happening. It's just all updating, and that's it. And now we just need to free memory. The memory, which is again, it's it, uh, it was here already. See, oh. this is the free memory thing. This is the con the the change to continue the loop of the iterator, and that's all. Now we're just gonna compile it. And hope for the best. And hope for the best. So I've saved here. I'm going to my terminal. Terminal. Sorry for close blender. Blender. Compile. 
And if it works, huh. if it works, we're gonna, com we're gonna commit live. <laughs> <laughs> well, not live, it's a video. Okay, now you go here. Yes, and now you're ready. <laughs> you're ready. So you do slowly. Edge three, yes. two, two, one, one, bang. bang. You can collapse Both in multiple them. objects. So, so you just made 2.8 a bit better. Yes. <laughs> nice. And it's super accessible. The patch itself is. It's really just a few lines, a few removals. And of course, since I have commit right, I can just I could go, could just go and commit. Commit, yes. But then usually you go and and send you send the patch. patch for review. Yeah. But that's uh, that's it. I'm just gonna commit it. I can keep recording and cut later and edit. <laughs> so okay, cool. So for this to work, you have to be okay. You have to compile Blender. You have to be a bit familiar with the code, or just looking at the reference. You can just enough? well, of course, you need to be a little bit. Uh, comfortable with the tools we use, so you need to know how to how to compile Blender, how to look for your own, you know, how to look at the code for yourself. And this can just search for the string. But it's very trivial. I need yeah. to think. I mean, some operators they don't care about selection. For instance, if you're revealing all the hidden mesh. Yeah. I did this this uh, last week. Now you just want to do it regardless of whatever selected. Some cases you want to you have the same operator for uh, vertices, edge, and faces, so you want to check if they, all of them uh, if any, if, if uh, are then is selected, otherwise you, you quit. But it's really, so it's in a case by case, but it's really, really straightforward. Nice, yeah, so here. it was for faces, then you just search for one so that is similar. I compile, I committed already, so, oh. you, and then you, what you're doing here, you take this, and you go to the original task. It's probably gonna be ah, when the video. It's done. Yes. Read it. You look for collapse. And yeah, well, in this case, when you because you already have commit access. Yes, and then but this is uh, what's going to happen after. If you send a patch and the patch is revealed and committed, this is what's going to happen next. So on nice. the next day in the graph, you're going to have a. Want to see the graph changing? So every day at 2 a.m. when it changes. But that's all. After this video, once you go back to your table, to your desk, Pablo, if you compile Blender, you have it already. So. Wow. Uh, that's simple. Everyone's really welc uh, welcome. To welcome to help to because right now there is 213 or something uh, left. Yes, 213. 212 now. 12, yes. <laughs> so when that is in zero, it means that every tool for edit mesh, edit post, mesh mode and, po and bond poles is supported, supported. Which means we then can actually think about what's going to be the next mode to be supported. Maybe sculpting, maybe bond editing. <laughs> We see. So, but at, at first, let's try to get this uh, finished yeah. for this part. So, yeah, come help us. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> it's live thank demo. You, thank you. <laughs> Bye.